So now you're the proud owner of a force field battery energizer. Let's go and see how we set it up. To set up the force field battery energizer, essentially you need four components. Energizer unit itself, earth bar, output leads, and a battery, which is contained inside the housing. You can use either a nine volt battery or a 12 volt. The advantage with a 12 volt is that it can be recharged. For today, we're going to use a 90 amp hour nine volt alkaline battery. So just peel the sticker off the battery, get your leads ready. Your red live lead is connected to the live terminal. And the black earth lead connected to the earth terminal. Like so. You place the lid back on the unit and secure it with the clips. Next up is the earth bar. We have an output lead connected to the earth bar with a nut and bolt. So you simply push the earth bar into the ground, like so. We connect the other side of the earth lead to the earth terminal on the fencer, like so. Next up is the red live output lead, which is connected to the live terminal on the fencer. like so. And with the other side of the red live lead with the crocodile clip, connects to your fence. And that's essentially ready to go. The only thing we have to do now is turn it on. So on the force field battery energizer, there's a button mechanism for turning it on. There's two modes on this unit, a standard mode and a turbo mode. The turbo mode emits an electronic pulse more frequently and also at a higher voltage. We recommend that if your livestock are not used to electric fence for the first couple of days after which it can be switched back to the standard mode, which is more than sufficient to contain your livestock. And on standard mode, it actually runs down the battery much less. The button mechanism on the unit is quite simple. You press it once, which turns it on to standard mode. The second press puts it on to turbo. And a third press powers the unit off. Livestock are much less active at night time. So to prolong the battery life in the unit, we've installed what we call night mode functionality. That means as it gets dark at night time, the unit automatically detects this and slows down the frequency at which it emits the electronic pulse. This in turn prolongs the battery life. At morning time, as it gets bright again, the unit automatically kicks back in either to standard or turbo mode. Again, it's just useful functionality, which extends the battery life on the unit. So these livestock are quite used to fence. So on standard mode, it's perfect. So there we go, your fence is down, standard mode, connected to the line and ready to go. For your own peace of mind, just to check that there's power going through the line, force field manufacture a keyring beeper tester. Very simple device that when held close to the line will beep. Okay, you heard a beep there, you heard a beep again. That just gives you that own peace of mind that there's actually power going through the line. So there you go, all set up guys, um, and it will contain your animals for as long as you need.